Welcome to yet another interesting topic for the day and it is 10 key tips to writing a great cover letter. Yes, that's right, cover letter. When you come to put your cover letter together, we suggest you refer to these 10 areas to make sure it's as strong as possible. So let's get started. The first thing that you should be minding in cover letter is the word choice. When writing your cover letter, be careful about the words and phrases that you use. In particular, ensure that you incorporate key terms from the job description and person specification in your letter. So here what we are talking about is job description and job specification very specific to the job profile you need to take out the keywords or the buzzwords or the power words and incorporate as it is in your cover letter there is a very good reason for this why many recruiters now use software to scan applications and supporting documents which check for the inclusion of particular phrases these algorithms make the selection process easier by shifting out those candidates who may be unsuitable filtering the process is called read the job description and the supporting document very very carefully and highlight any word any phrase any keyword buzzword or power word that has been emphasized in the job description itself even if your letter is not going to be scanned by software managers usually don't have a lot of time to shift through hundreds of application letters in detail to increase the chances of being selected choice of your word in the cover letter becomes very very important so include most of the specified area what you receive as job description however don't be tempted to enhance or embellish your experience and qualifications if you do not meet all of the criteria although you should aim to portray yourself as a strong and valuable candidate honesty is always the best policy the second thing that comes to our mind while drafting a great cover letter is formatting graduate cover letters should follow the usual format for as the business letter begin the letter with your name address telephone number and email on the top right of the page include the date that you send the letter on begin the letter with an appropriate salutation such as dear sir or madam or if you have the name of the recruiter or the manager dear mr mrs miss or messrs etc good practice for a cover letter is as follows when the letter with an introduction to yourself demonstrate that you have some knowledge about what the company does for example mentioning a new product it has released or something about the organization's vision and values demonstrate your suitability through strong examples even if you don't have much work experience during your studies you will develop a number of transferable skills that you can highlight instead address all of the criteria in the person specification if this document was supplied give the employer or recruiter a reason for inviting you to interview demonstrate your written communication skills and lastly close the letter in the correct manner if the letter included dear mr mrs miss messrs etc then sign off with your sincerely if the letter was addressed as dear sir or ma'am then close it with yours faithfully now the third thing on the cover letter is fonts the cover letter is not a suitable place to experiment with artistic fonts and colors even if you are applying for a creative role 
keep all correspondence business like choose one of the popular fonts such as Arial, Calibri, Tohoma, Verdena, New Times Roman etc and use always a text size between 10 to 12 ideally 12 the fourth thing is address the letter to someone if possible try to address your letter to a person rather than simply dear sir or madam if you're not sure about the correct spelling of the person's name telephone the company or the concerned person and ask them to confirm sometimes names can apply to both genders such as charlie sam etc in which case check whether the letter should be addressed to mr mrs or miss making a simple mistake such as this may be enough to result in your application being eliminated from the selection process no matter how suitable you may be for the opportunity fifth one is opening paragraph it is good practice to open the letter by outlining where you found the job advertisement something such as further to your advertisement for job title in publication or website would be suitable sixth is education as a graduate the focus of your letter should be on your academic background usually this is because it is your main strength inform the employer of the full name of your course where you have studied highlight any major achievements that could help you to stand out seventh training and internships if you have completed any periods of work experience or voluntary placements draw on these in your letter relevantly number eight specific skills do you have an excellent understanding of technical skill mentioned in the advertisement i think it's time now to incorporate in the cover letter mention it in your letter digital skills are particularly favored by employers so if you have coordinated a campaign or a setup of website identify a suitable opportunity and write about this in your letter ninth is interviews don't forget the aim of your letter is to impress the employer sufficiently that they will want to meet you end your letter with a call to action asking for an interview number 10 and the last is proofreading the final step in the process is to carefully proofread the letter before you send it across it's the little things that matter when making a first impression make sure that the person's name the company name the job title are all spelled correctly some rules to remember with cover letters in addition to the 10 tips above these rules will stand out in good stead never write anything in your cover letter that cannot be supported by your cv or application form hr staff will check documents to identify any discrepancies or mistakes during the interview you will be asked questions about you have written so make sure that you can support what you have said with some good relevant examples highlight the most important details that you want the employer to know this could be a notable achievement a promotion or a prestigious academic award citation or any certification refer the reader of your letter to your cv to obtain additional information your cover letter is the first document that many recruiters read more often than not even before they review your cv therefore this letter has to be compelling enough for them to want to read your cv to find out more about your knowledge and skills so let's come to the last point of this agenda let's also look into do's and don'ts when writing a cover letter let's talk about the do's first tailor your letter to each job that you apply for that means every cover letter should be different if the job you're applying is different 
Provide enough information about your skills, but be very concise. Make the content persuasive and compelling. Ensure that you proofread it. Use a business format for the letter. Use good quality paper if you are applying to post it. Let's talk about the don'ts. Send a generic letter that could apply to any graduate job. Say too much as you write. Always keep in mind whether the information that you are including is relevant to the role. Write more than one side of A4. Include any factual errors or inaccuracies. Forget to add your contact details at the top of the letter. So here are the do's and don'ts and take this cover letter very very seriously. So writing a graduate CV takes time and care to put together. Following the steps in this guide should enable you to put together a comprehensive letter that gets you an interview call. Best wishes. Thank you.